Hi, I'm Allie Reynolds with Alice Organics, and today I'm going to show you how to start a redworm composting bin. This is a bin that we carry on our website at alliesorganics.com or here in the store. And we're liking these because they're just pretty simple, straightforward, easy to do. So what we want to have is either some coconut core or some peat moss, and the night before we actually want to get this moist. We, want it, we don't want any dry spots in it. So we want to dump in two or three inches of this. This one here is peat moss and spread it out. And we're going to add some newspaper to this. And we want to shred it up. OK. We're going to add the newspaper because it gives them something to eat. And it's just part of composting. So we're just going to kind of mix it in with this peat moss. And now we've got our worms that we're going to be adding. These, these are the red wiggler worms and they are the best for composting. They're little workhorses. You don't want night crawlers or the earthworms. These are the ones that you want, the red wiggler worms. Anyways, we're just going to sprinkle these guys over the top. We're going to be adding some food. This is just some lettuce, just stuff from the kitchen. And I like to put it in a corner. You can also add some leaves. And I like to just sprinkle the leaves over the top. They'll eat all of this. They'll uh, make all of this worm castings that you can use in your garden. Then I like to take some newspaper and I like to get it wet. And then I'm just going to lay this right over the top. This helps keep some moisture in. It makes it dark for them. They like to have darks, a dark place to be. And I'll just cover this. Then you want to put a lid on this. You pretty much just want to leave these guys alone. Don't disrupt them too much. But do check on them every once in a while. This will take a, a few days for them to eat this. Each worm can eat its own weight in food a day. So if you have a pound of worms, you're talking a pound of food a day. Then you're going to do the same thing again as we did at the very beginning. You're going to add what is now called a working tray. You're going to put that on. You're going to add your peat moss, although you don't have to add the worms. And then your food, you can just put in a corner or you can just basically put on the top layer. You can use leaves. You can even add a little bit of manure, like cow manure. Don't use chicken manure. It's pretty hot. So you can use rabbit manure. They really like that. Some people have even put some chicken feed in it. As long as it's an organic chicken feed, I think it's all right. You'll want to store this in a place that is cool. You can put it in your garage, um, put it out of the sunlight, because it'll attract the sunlight, it'll create too much heat, and you'll kill your worms. They can handle some freezing, but if it gets really cold in your area, then you'll definitely want to put them in your garage. After a while, you'll end up getting earthworm castings, and that's when you remove the the tray here and then you'll have the castings down here and, and you can continue to add four levels of trays on this. They'll also create a worm juice. It comes out of the spigot down here. You'll open it up and drain it and that's just like a like a compost tea. You can use that earthworm juice on any of your vegetables. You can even use it in your house plants. The biggest thing is with, with the worms is you've got to remember to feed them and don't let them get too wet. If they get too wet, then you'll drown them. This tray here has holes in it. And when you have the food up here, the worms want to come up through these holes. They'll come up to eat their food. Remember, you always want to have your food on the top. And they'll just work their way up through here. And once you put all your stuff in here, they'll come up, they'll eat everything. When your lid's off, they're going to go down to the bottom because they don't like the light. So you want to make sure that your lid is on when you have the food up in here. You can uh, feed them egg cartons, eggshells. Make sure it's broke down. They can eat it a lot faster if it's broke down really small. You can use napkins, cardboards, uh, any of that kind of stuff that you can use in here. Table scraps are great. But there again, you don't want to be using meats. You don't want to be using oils, uh, dairy products you don't want to be putting in here. And chop it up really fine for them, and they'll be able to digest it a lot faster. Some of the things that they really like is tea. Uh, from the tea bags. You can even put the uh, tea bag in there as long as you remove the staple out of it. And they love coffee grounds. They seem to just thrive on those. And just remember, keep everything up on top. Keep it moist, but not too wet because you don't want to drown them. 
Okay, that's all there is to begin in your earthworm composting bin.